everyone, Doug from Convology, and in this video, I want to talk about the best CDN or content delivery network for Thrive Suite. All right, if you head over to convology.com slash bunnynet, you're going to be taken to the bunnynet website where you can get a killer deal on a content delivery network that will literally only cost you pennies in used resources. Now, BunnyNet is a CDN, it's a content delivery network. And real quick, let's just go over a little bit of what that means. Like I mentioned at the beginning, it essentially loads your website data wherever the user is located, or at least to one of these locations that are nearest to where the user is at. So for example, if someone visits convology.com from London, rather than the website loading from Los Angeles, the website's going to load from London. And in order to make that happen, I pay like 0 0.00001 cent, right? So like not even a measurable amount to make that happen. So in this video, I want to walk through the process of getting started with BunnyNet, get you up and running in just a matter of minutes so that you can implement this really quick fix that does not have to be complicated at all. First things first, go to convology.com slash BunnyNet. And once you're there, you wanna click on try free for 14 days. When you do that, you're going to get a 14 day trial, super, super legit. You can test it on your site, see how it speeds things up. And once you're happy, you can put a small little, I think it's like a $10 credit onto your account that if you're like me, will take you literally 10 months to blow through. Uh, so just for literally a dollar a month, you're going to have the fastest CDN and the easiest to use CDN. So go ahead and create your account by entering your email and your password, and I will see you on the other side to show you how to get everything all set up. All right, so the way that BunnyNet works is that it uses something called pull zones. So on the left-hand side here in the navigation, once you're logged in and you have your account all set up, you'll go to pull zones, and we're going to add a pull zone, and we're going to give this a name. I recommend just putting in whatever your .com is. So my domain name, and then they'll add .bcdn.net. So for me, it would be Convology. And for you, enter in your name. So for us, we're gonna put this on my demo site. So we'll put Convology demo. And they want the origin URL. So this is the URL where the files are loading from, right? So that should be easy enough. This is actually your domain name. So let's enter in mine. All right, Convology demo. Now we have the choice here. We can do the standard tier or the high volume tier. Uh, for me, I typically just do the standard tier. It's for small files, small websites. You get great latency across the web. Again, I'm just reading you what they have here, but let's walk through this, right? So why would you switch to high tier volume? If you have tons of large files, if you're doing a ton of like video hosting, um, you have, uh, you're planning on having um, lots and lots of people coming here and you just want the best, sure, swap over to high volume tier. I use the standard tier, right? I don't think there's anyone watching this that probably doesn't need the standard tier. But if you look at these two things and you decide, you know what, I'm high volume, go for it. So next we need to choose our pricing zones. And this is essentially the exact same thing as deciding where do I want my website to load from? If you have most of your visitors from Europe and North America, you're going to pay 0 0.010 cents or 0 0.010 dollars for every gigabyte of bandwidth. That's pretty much how CDNs work, or at least how BunnyNet works, right? They charge you based on usage. So if your visitors are in Europe, North America, 0 0.010 dollars. Point, so what is that, like one cent per gigabyte? I mean, that's crazy. Now, if you have visitors from South America, you're gonna be paying 4.5 cents per gigabyte if uh, of data transferred, right? Putting that into perspective, most people's websites only use a couple gigs a month at most. Um, if you have visitors from Asia, it's three cents per gigabyte, South Africa, six cents per gigabyte. So for me, I just went ahead and left all these on. I have a global audience that comes to Convology. And honestly, I don't have so much traffic coming from South Africa that six cents per gigabyte of usage from Africa is ever going to be more than more than six cents, right? I don't think I'm ever gonna have that much traffic, so I'm not really worried about that. So I went ahead and left all these uh, uh, toggled on and checked, and then just click add pull zone. Cool, so here's what's super easy. You're almost done. What they're basically telling you now is, well, 
now that you've created your pull zone, here's how we set it up with your website. So they're going to give you a couple of examples. And what's really cool, if you watched my video on the best caching plugin for Thrive Suite, you saw that I recommend W3 Total Cache. And they actually give you recommendations or info on how to add it to W3 Total Cache. So here we are on my demo website. And the first thing you want to do is go to W3 Total Cache by going to the performance section and go to general settings. Here we're going to look for CDN. There it is. And on CDN, you want to check this box that says enable and then go ahead and click save all settings. Now, once you've enabled the CDN, all you have to do is choose the CDN type. And for our CDN type, we're going to choose generic mirror. So let's look for generic mirror. There it is. Choose generic mirror. And now I guess we could save our settings again. And now let's just scroll down and make sure everything looks good. There it is, CDN generic mirror. Perfect. Now we'll go to our CDN section of W3 Total Cache and we will scroll down. Perfect. And we'll find our configuration section. Now what we want to do is replace our site's host name with the information from BunnyNet. Now let's come back to BunnyNet. And what I like to do just for uh, ease here, go ahead and click skip instructions. And this will take you right to the pull zone that you just set up. What you're going to do is copy the host name right here, jump back over to the content delivery section of W3 Total Cache and paste in the host name right there. And that's it. Now all you'll want to do is click save settings. Now we went over how to implement BunnyNet with W3 Total Cache. I just want to show you real quick how easy it is to implement BunnyNet with Breeze, which is the other caching plugin that I recommend if you're using Cloudways hosting. So to implement this with Cloudways, all we want to do is jump back here to our general tab, make sure we copy our host name, and then jump over to our website that uses Breeze. Now in the CDN tab, under Breeze, all we want to do is add two slashes and then paste in our host name that we just copied. And I believe the rest of these settings are default. I certainly didn't add them. Just make sure yours looks like mine. Click save changes and you're completely good to go. So now a couple little settings that I like to enable. I like to come in here and under my host name, I like to force SSL, simply toggle that on. And then I like to go under headers and I like to add canonical headers. Now, again, I just wanna go over why I think BunnyNet is such a terrific CDN. And if you look right here in the center of the screen where it says balance, usage, and cost per gigabyte, um, this is why I use BunnyNet. So when you open your account and you're done with your 14 day trial, they're going to have you put in uh, the minimum starting credit into the account. And that's, I believe, $10. So once you've put in $10, what's going to happen is your usage will deduct from that $10. So I put in $10, I think uh, last October or so, and my balance is still $5.80. Now my usage this month so far, we're 23 days uh, through the month, my usage has been 12 cents. And my cost per gigabyte is 0 0.0062. So I'm using 12 cents right now. And I have, I believe, six or so websites uh, using this right now. And one of them is my uh, course website where I have, gosh, I think I'm up to uh, over 100 videos now. I've started to migrate more of my courses. So I'm over 100 videos on here. Uh, those videos range from five minutes in length to 30 minutes in length, and I'm paying pennies. Now, full transparency, although I'm using 12 cents this month, I am going to have to pay $1 because there is a $1 minimum. But hey, $1 a month. So $12 a year to get your website to be this fast is absolutely 100% worth it. So I highly recommend BunnyNet. If you go to convology.com slash BunnyNet, start your free trial, get those 14 days for free, put in your $10 and you're good for the next 10 months. So that's gonna do it for this overview on how to use BunnyNet, the top CDN that I recommend with Thrive Suite. If you have any questions, I'm not like a pro at CDNs. I know just enough to make it work for me, but I'd be happy to help you get as far as I have and to put this to work for your website.